Hello scientific people, again a lecture continuation series on Bohr's model and today we are going to derive an expression for time period of an electron. So here is an electron um, suppose in the nth orbit of a hydrogen like atom and uh, the nucleus suppose that element is atom of an element is x, z, a, z are the number of protons. So plus z e would be the charge on the nucleus. E minus E would be the charge of an electron but we do not consider the negative sign. Mass of the nucleus sorry mass of the electron moving in a circular path is m, v is the velocity of an electron and to gain a better understanding of the this particular topic it is better you watch the earlier videos of the Bohr's model in which I had derived the expression for energy velocity and kinetic energy. Okay. So if this electron finishes one full complete round or one full revolution, suppose the time taken is capital T that is what is called time period. So time period is the time taken by an electron to complete one full revolution and that too with a constant speed v because we already derived it. So this time period can be written as time period is equal to distance upon speed. Now distance can be given as one circular round means 2 pi r divided by speed is v. Now we already we have already derived the expression for r and v so let us substitute it over here 2 pi times the r expression that we had derived was n square h square epsilon 0 upon pi z e square by m. This was the expression of the radius that we had derived right okay where z is the atomic number and upon v would be the velocity. So it, uh, it is being divided by v so v expression again we have already derived it that is e square z upon 2 epsilon 0 n h. So now if we simplify this expression we would be getting this is pi and pi getting cancelled right. So this is 2 n square square epsilon 0 upon z e square m divided by this number so multiply by 2 epsilon 0 and h upon e square into z right guys ok. Do not confuse between this is 2 this number is 2 and this is z and what we can cancel over here let us see ok. So I do not think anything is getting cancelled over here. So finally the time period that is equal to 2 h cube then we have epsilon 0 square then we have n square upon z into z that is z square. I think I have made a mistake it is n cube over here and upon e raised to 4 ok times m, m ok I am not missing out on anything. So finally we can see that everything is constant so time period is basically proportional to n cube upon z square very important expression guys. Now if we talk about a single atom single atom so that means z is also constant over there. So the time period expression would be directly proportional to n cube very important relation guys. Just go through this again and you would find it more interesting that means from here we can say that as the orbit keeps on uh, increasing the principal quantum number this n is the principal quantum number if the principal quantum number keeps on increasing then the time taken by an electron would be gradually increasing right guys hopefully you like my explanation do subscribe to my channel once again right thank you for watching the videos guys.